I'm gonna go out on boating. <clears throat> I want to see if uh, I can't get back to my home base there from this shoreline with the boat I have here. Oh no! All right, so let's see. Yeah, storage. There's four slots. All right. So we put. 30, 120 iron ore max in, in a boat. Uh, uh. And we want to go here. Yes. So you're going to have to go out and around. We actually have some headwind right now, too, so that's nice. Actually, before we go... Oh, I'm definitely not in range. I just see... Ah, yeah, it's fine. The boat is healthy. Okay. I'm gonna go out and around these rocks out here. I think this is like a sandbar I'll get stuck on. But I'm gonna go in about that direction. I have figured out a uh, sailing though. And it's a lot more enjoyable now that I have. It's still fucking scary though. Oh damn, this water is really shallow. Probably shouldn't have done this at night, but it's okay. I don't know why, but I feel like there's a better chance to not run into a sea monster at night. It's like, maybe their vision will also be, uh, cut down by shit like fog. Alright, I got some gray drops over there, not a big deal. Oh yeah, dude, this boat is so much better than the fucking, um... Oh, what, what is it? The raft. Granted, we have like a strong headwind right behind us too, but still. Alright, so we got some land coming up here. Alright, we might be able to sail around that, looks like. So we can sail from our portal base here. Um, I don't know, honestly. Uh, the energy levels have just been really crappy lately. I can't say I'm sick, because I'm, I'm not. I honestly think, as far as, uh, right now, um, I, so I have hives. Um, I can't really tell you exactly what they are because I don't know because you know I live in America and I can't get healthcare because you know we're the greatest nation and all that but about maybe two years ago now I broke out with like full bone like chicken pox shingles level of hives it wasn't either of those and we really don't know why but regardless of why, they never actually went away. It's just, uh, kind of went dormant like many of the other diseases I have. And I haven't had it act up since the first time I had it really bad like that first time. But how it is right now, it is not bad by any means right now. But it's the worst it's been since the original time where it became, like, crippling. So, I'm a little paranoid about that. But it shouldn't affect my energy levels, because even when I had it, like, to the point that I literally couldn't walk or function, it didn't actually, um, affect my energy. Like, my mental moon, sure, but my, my... I have, like, four hours of energy right now on a good night's sleep and, like, a meal. After that, I'm, like, exhausted. 
Oh, I haven't been streaming. Sophie's grandma passed away, and we've just kind of been doing funeral nonsense stuff all week and whatnot. So, I, I think it's been like nine fucking days or something since I've streamed, or something ridiculous like that. So, you haven't missed anything. Yeah, because I, I have a lot of diseases and illnesses and just ailments, problems, etc. But I, for the most part, know what they are now and or how to deal with them. But, uh... Yeah, th that, that was just something new. It came out of nowhere. I have no idea why I got them, how I got them, what they were. But they basically became like full body. Like my entire body was red. Like I couldn't even put like socks and shoes on because of like how bad it was. And uh, they were violently itchy and and just like, and if you itch them, you know, it was violently painful. So, and as it goes in my life, the same week I got that was the same week our internet went down. Um, so when I finally, like, basically the day that I said, fuck it, I'm not doing anything, because I literally can't, I'm gonna sit on the couch and just watch, like, Netflix and try not to think about it to the best of my ability, our internet was down. So I spent three days of, like, 8 to 16 hours a day staring at a fucking wall, just in agony. And and that was a uh, that that was my week. So I really hope that doesn't happen again, or at least if they happen again, my internet doesn't crash the same the same time. <laughs> so yeah. But the thing is, like stress kind of makes them worse. I have documented that. But the thing is, like, the fact that they're acting up is stressful. Um, you know, so it's kind of like a catch-22 as far as that goes. Yeah, it was a fairly boring, unpleasant time. Oh, yo, get away from my house. Oh, he hit me. Interesting. Right. Um. What did I miss? Oh. Seems to be a delay on the errors, actually. Oh, man. Yeah, how did these guys get over here? I missed. But yeah, it's just things have been, uh, I haven't really played too much, to be honest with you. I did a little off stream, I guess. But what I have done, things have been, uh, good. I can't complain. We've got a second house and a third house set up here and portals activated. And we found the swamp lines to, uh, kind of progress to the next tech tree of iron but the problem with that is essentially uh or whether it's like the raw material or the the smelty refined versions of it you can't take through portals so you have two options basically the swamp lands are always going to be like this far away from like the center of the map because maps are randomly generated but from my understanding you always start in the middle of the map, which is like good. 
And then, you know, as you progress out through, like, the five bosses and the tech trees and the progression and blah, 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 you, uh, you know, so it's like, yeah, it's randomly generated, but you're never going to get, like, a swamp land next to your house in the middle of the base, you know, like, the swamp lands are always going to be here and the deserts are always going to be here and, you know, it's kind of like that, um, you know, to a degree, so to be able to um I can't think my brain is fried <laughs> oh yeah so like to get iron like I got the key from the boss and then there's like dungeons in the swamplands uh, that you can open up with the key and then there's shit in there and like iron ore so you can go like i can mine the iron ore but the thing is just because i can mine the iron ore like over here doesn't mean i can do anything with it because you know i need a smelter and then i need a furnace for that and then i need like an upgraded you know forge and everything and for all this shit i need like copper and tin and bronze so you have two options go over here get the iron and fucking carry it all the way back to your main base somehow which i don't even have like a direct boat way so i i would have to do some type of land traveling no matter what which means like completely naked with nothing in your inventory you'd be able to carry 30 oops 30 iron ingots like total which is just like not a lot in the grand scheme of things, you know. Um. So, in my opinion, it would be better to take this base and build it up to like this level of upgrading. But to do that, I basically have to restart and go mine copper and tin over here, and then like lug that shit back and upgrade everything, and then rebuild one of these and everything else. You know, so no matter what, it's not going to be quick or easy, but yeah, but I think I would ultimately rather just build a better secondary base out further because I'm going to just have to keep progressing further away and probably have to do like run into the same problem again, again at some point. So I'd rather just keep having better bases built farther out than trying to get shit back to the main base. Because you, you just, you can't take it through portals. You know? And like, carts, you know, are only on land, boats are only on sea. Yeah. Or, or the boat can put on four different things in it, but again, I'd have to take it off on land at one point, and with all that extra effort to do all that, I just don't think it'd be worth it. I like I think it would be uh, easier and cheaper to just start from scratch over there. But I'm kind of just putting it off because I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, I don't have the silver necklace now. Oh, so I did lose some stuff. Fuck. The game did crash on me, like I said, and that's why my mic was off. Um, I lost some progression, actually, for that, and now I remember what that progression was. Big sad. Mm. Leather upgrades, okay. Oh, I can't even do that. I can upgrade these though. So six bones. What what happened? What I miss? I'm too tired to comprehend things right now.
Um, do I even have the ability to upgrade my workbench again right now? I don't think I do. Have that. Have that. Yeah, I have those three. And this is for the forge. Yeah, okay. I can't. Alright, well, at least I got my rest of this stuff upgraded for now. Give, give me a tiny bit more armor, I guess. Grand scheme of things. Oh, the other thing I really want to find is the merchant, though. Which will just be like, completely fucking random. I might just, like, fucking just send it in this direction. Yeah, you know what, man? We're gonna go merchant hunting. Nice. Is that gonna be a long trip? Or are you like at the other place, like the other state place? Or are you just like, you know, I don't know. I don't know the whole living situation stuff right now. I know you're like moving stuff back and forth though. Yeah, well, I just have a fuck ton of money stuff, or like valuables. So if I find them, I could clean them out. Or a couple probably valuable uh, like items. I found him on my nomadic character, and uh, like he literally just has an item that it says it gives you super strength. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but like it can't be bad, right? <laughs> oh, you're gonna be flying, not driving. Okay. I hope you don't get delayed and stuff. I know there's like the big snowstorm stuff going on or, or something like that. Oh, is it a long flight? I've never actually flown on a plane, so... I have very little conceptual knowledge of plane stuff. Especially, like, post-9-11 nonsense things. Let's just pop one of each of those. Um, I think that the merchant, and again, like, I don't think he always has the same items and everything else, or if he restocks, you know? So even if I find him in this world, he might still have different things. Um, maybe better things. Uh, I don't even remember all the things. All, but everything he had was like, pretty unique also he has a fishing pole which i want um just because like I, I just do um like that was the reason i wanted to find him because he was the only way to get a fishing pole and bait to like fish in the game as of right now but he also just had a bunch of other really like interesting unique stuff that i, I think is good but from the best of my knowledge there is no way to up your like carrying weight right now but I think he actually sells an item that will, like, up your carrying weight. That might even be what the super strength item is. Though, that might just be wishful thinking. Weather is supposed to be good. Two hours. Salt Lake City. Layover. Three hours. The one hour to Idaho. Okay. So that means you're gonna have a two hour flight that you get off of, then you have to wait for three hours to get on another flight that's another hour long. Is, is that, did I translate that correctly? I think I translated that correctly. See, if I was smart, I'd bring the shit to build a portal with me. So if I find the merchant, I can just plunk a portal down and go home. But I am not smart, and I did not do that. But it is okay. <sighs> Honestly, I'd just be so excited if I found him. And there might be more than one, too. I don't know. I, and he might travel. 
He has a waypoint on the map, though, so I don't think he travels. Oh, that sucks, then. <sighs> what do you do in your layovers? So I imagine you can't just, like, roam around the city and stuff. Yeah, you don't probably want to hover around the airport, you know? Which, you know, not fun. 